un homenaje al invencible comandante Ernesto Che Guevara. To celebrate Thanksgiving Day, the Yankees baked a chocolate chay with buttermilk from Camelway and cacao from the factory he founded in the heady days when cocoa was revolutionary. He wore a marzipan beret, its insignia that rarity, a perfect star-shaped strawberry to strip the commandante who took the eye from industry of the badge that gave him dignity. They gagged him with a cabris flake imported by the CIA, stretched him on a rack of cane, lashed onto a Chevrolet, carved him up at Gitmo Bay with harvest blunt machetes, took his head to the Admiralty, as there cut of the bounty that is La Isla Grande, toasted him with rum flambe in memory of Hemingway, red flames like the blues they fade away. I am here to kill the Dalai Lama. I'd greet him as a fellow horologist, show him my silver pocket watch, and tell him his time is up, or strangle him with this white scarf before his kung fu monks can chop me down, and that will end the movie of his life. And if he has his Nobel Prize about his person, I will beat his person with it most viciously, and hope his bones rest in peace. Should he sport a knotted prayer string, I'll use that as a garrote to finish him off and bring an end to his suffering. They told me if I ever meet a Buddha on the road, I must kill him. He is the first and the last I'll ever meet. I am here to kill the Dalai Lama. The thrill of sable, before it's dipped, becomes a bottle that's launched its ship. As my last seed is sown, I trust, you'll swallow a dose of bacon dust. It's such a con, just as I sussed, how an old man can deal with lust. Sleep lays down its finishing crust, label my bag bacon dust. Unframe the windows, unhinge the doors, roll up the ceilings, fold up the walls. Here stood my body, this is a bust, now hoover up that bacon dust. The art connoisseur will save vintage stuff as he gets a nose of this fragrant muff. Snort it like coke or sniff it like snuff, a line or a pinch pure bacon dust. My nerves are jarred, wrapped with paint between cardinal red and crimson lake, for a sanguine colour, sharper than rust, hand the man down some bacon dust. Reglaze the windows, hang up the doors, roll out the ceilings, unfold the walls, museums and morgues, Let's not discuss the provenance of my bacon dust. Chase grave is not Chase grave, and the bones in it are not Chase, and those cold hands in the jar, tucked away in Fidel's pantry, they are not the hands of Che, though they are both human and Che-like. And that wax mask that impressed the face of Che did not impress the face of Che. And those photos of the dead Che as Christ with the generals playing Romans display neither Christ nor Che nor Romans, and his wounds are not wounds as we know them. 
and all the tales of Che you've read are not tales with Che in them, and all these Che poems are not Che poems, or even poems at all. And if you took a lock of the hair of Che, it is Che's hair no longer, and if you say that Che was a saint, you either did not meet that Che, or you have never met a saint. And any likeness at all between my Che and your Che is coincidental. If you believe in coincidence, which Che did not, and if you say Che lives, then Che lives, although he doesn't live, and isn't Che. And if I say Che never lived, then that is all I have to say about Jay.